All right, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to code some JavaScript because it's been a damn long time. I haven't been coding, you know, because I work as a data scientist and by data scientist, I mean a data analyst, but you know, we call it data scientist at Silicon Valley because we get to get paid more if we're called data scientists. So pretty much any 12 year old can actually do my job, but we still get paid a shit ton to do it, so. Oh wait, just a minute. So this video is sponsored by Wix Code and I'll talk about this right now. So you guys know what Wix is, right? The website that allows you to make stunning websites. Well, now they have Wix Code, which allows us coders to tinker with the backend so that we can do so much more. So I could finally do so much more by adding a database, adding user forms and using JavaScript and their API so I could finally make interactive websites. So check this out. I just made a database right here and then on my home page, I connect it to the data set. So now whenever someone writes me a message, it pops up right here. Once I finish this website, I'm gonna have a personal wall so I can display all the awesome messages and support that you guys gave me right here on this website. So click on the link on the description to get started with your website today. Anyways, I really missed coding. So if you missed part one and part two, you should go check that out. But I'll just give you a quick summary of what I'm building. Previously on Cool Kids Coding JavaScript. I, never should have missed you. I wanted to make an app where you can synchronize watching YouTube between your friends. So I used the YouTube API to create a player. And then I also made a play and pause button so that I could send custom requests back to the server so that I could synchronize between the players. Alright, Lego my ego my first my shizzle. Got my eye term. Okay. Alright, let's take a break. Alright, so there's something important I want to talk about. Um, a lot of people mentioned that I opened the banana. It's not open, it's peel, you idiot. That I opened the banana wrongly. <laughs> well, guess what? You're wrong. Oh, <laughs> well, guess what? Your English is wrong. Idiot because that's how monkeys open it, okay? You have to pinch it from here, not from here. Like if I wanna open it, oh crap. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. But usually it's really hard, especially if it's not ripe. It's like, oh my God, I, it's just so hard to open it. Here's how you actually peel a banana. Wow, good job, you finally used the word peel. You just pinch it right here. There you go. It's so much easier. Okay, see? See how much effort it took? It took so much effort. And now, imagine if you wanna, okay. Okay, imagine if you wanna pass the banana to someone else. Pass it to me now. Oh no! You dropped it, like, how the hell am I supposed to hold it? All right, now try this one. Wow, it's like if there's a, can you hold it properly? Okay, do it again. Oh, okay, wait. This is so hard. Hold it like this, fuck man. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, wow, thank you. Look at that, good thing there's an end. Good thing I could hold the tail. It makes it so much easier to pass a banana around. So there you have it, that's how you peel a banana. All right, okay, okay. All right, let's code for real now. Man, you know what I realized? There are so many different ways of sitting and I feel like each way determines your personality a little bit. L let me tell you what I mean. The super straight up stance, super ergonomic, their chest is popping, elbows aligned with the desk. I hate those people. They're so nice to you and perfect. They're probably secretly a serial killer. No one is that ergonomic and I do not believe that's comfortable at all. Now that's the stance I believe in. Perfectly snug, optimal for coding efficiently, I think that's being true to yourself. And then there's some people that never wear shoes for some reason, and they love to put their feet up. It's like they watch too much Death Note or something, and they think they're quirky and totally random. And then there's this guy who's super stressed, keeps pulling his hair, you know, swears from time to time, and oh, he just looks miserable. And then we got this guy whose mouth is always open, like 24 seven. He's probably a gamer or something, and it's just so concentrated, but come on, man, just close your mouth. Okay, 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 for real now. Let's start coding, for real. All right, so let's go to the to the web app. 
Oh, whoops, I did not start it. NPM start. All right, great. Great, we have it on here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a click event on all of these buttons. Like for example, play and stop. So right now, if you click these, you know, it doesn't really do anything. But what we wanna do is that each time we click the play or the pause button, we send it to the server so the server can send it to everyone that's logged in. All right, let's do that. All right, cool. So now that we got the buttons working, we're gonna send this message back to the server. But first the server has to receive it, so. You know, just, 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 just wait a minute, you know. It, it, it takes me some time to read. Ah, okay, got it, got it. And then now, the front end, when you receive these messages, you have to act on it. So for example, if you receive a play request, I'm gonna play my video. If you receive a pause request, I'm gonna pause my video. Let's do that. I never should have kissed you. So let's check my Twitter. All right, thank you, Jake, for the support. Really, really appreciate it. And then also we have one question by Sam Son. What tools do you use for data visualization? For me, I use mostly Tableau and Excel. So it's super easy to use. I don't even have to write code for it, so. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you later. Oh, what? This video is sponsored by Wix Code. Wow, I didn't expect that. We've been acting out for days, nothing to deny. You are, like, how are you related to me? Uh, we're friends. Are we? Yes. And I also... I mean, I kind of have to be. I also decide about your career. Yes. And if you're going to get promoted or fired. If you want him to get promoted or fired, one like for fired. <laughs> what? <laughs>